Are you from Starbucks? Because I like you a latte. I play in Serbia, brother. I play in Serbia, so I wish you guys uh, uh, can feel that. approaching it during the season as a reigning MVP. Do you feel like it puts any more pressure on you or is it just kind Brother, of another day? cannot care less for real. <laughs> You're two assists away from another triple-double tonight. You have had such an epic week. What's been the story of your success? Water. They drink it water. H2O. Water. <laughs> no, I'm playing with you. You know, waking up, getting good practice, just everyday based, uh, basis for real. have to have that mentality if you want to be successful at this level with other elite athletes so um yeah i was just ready i was ready for it and plus there was you know some hecklers during the game talking to me so i had to it was their fault really it was their fault LeBron got kuzma his ring written on it and he says here you go buddy the sign directed at wizards forward kyle kuzma a former teammate of lebron james in la and kuzma noticed Middle of the fourth, he hits one of the threes, and he's running down the court. He looks at him, and he goes, that's for you, too. I've never seen something like that before. Well, we saw you turn from our vantage point. We couldn't hear. Yeah, that was to them. We were... Yeah, that was to them. Yeah, they had a sign. They had a sign up that said, uh, uh, Le LeBron won uh, Kuzma his ring. And, uh, you know, I, I said, uh, you know, without LeBron, Cleveland would be shit. So, um, you know, they, they, they chose violence, and I just kept going. So, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I mean, sometimes Kuz is, uh, you know, throwing uh, not no-look passes, but look passes, and then, like, he throws it, the dude catches it, and then he looks away. It's like, bro. It's like, that's, that's not how a no-look pass works, bro. But. Kuzma finds Gaffer, a little jump hook. Uh, can you kind of describe what was, uh, how you were feeling uh, at the start of the game there? I mean, it was just fun, man. I was trying to uh, get the building hype, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like once I, once I hit one shot, it's over for anybody. I what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, were you pretending to call it timeout? Like, yeah, I was telling the coach, call it, call it damn timeout. <laughs> oh, man, need a timeout. I, sure. I did, but I didn't realize the time. I didn't realize it was 20 seconds, so he couldn't call it timeout. <laughs> you guys had to really grind out. Um, wait, 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 wait. You are always just the tank top. Why is that? I like to show my muscles. Cause I be in the weight room all the time, so I like to show what I work on. Looking forward to one of these in person for Facts. quite some time, right? Facts. Come on, Cole. Down by ten in the fourth quarter. Facts. What did What did you guys do Facts. to come back and win this game? We fought, man. Shout out to the team, man. Shout out to RJ. Shout out to Dell. Shout out to Mo Bamba. Shout out to my whole team, man. You know we had to go get that dub, man. Shout out to the Magic, man. Let's go. I have to ask. Oreos and milk on the Thanksgiving menu. Wait, we, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, so, so it's definitely, um, how you guys say, bed, uh, bed night, bedtime snack, bedtime snack. Sorry. So, um, so I had this, I had this like uh, commercial, this video shoot I did yesterday, and it was, um, it was um, three kids there, 
and uh, we were, you know, doing a shoot about some cookies, you know, and we had some Oreos over there, and uh, the, this kid asked me, he was like, have you ever ate Oreos before? I was like, yeah. You know, like, when I came to the league, that was the first thing I ate because, like, I was always, when I was back, when I was younger, I was always craving them and, you know, could never afford them, you know. So I was like, okay, when I get a little bit of money, you know, people go spend money in cars and chains, I mean, Oreos, right? So I ate them for, like, a month straight. No dinner, no lunch, no nothing. So I got sick of them, right? But I, I've, I've had them. So he was like, have you ever dip them, oh, uh, dunk them in uh, milk? I was like, no. It's like, you should try that. So I was like, okay, cool, we, should, we did the commercial, I took the milk, I took the Oreos, and I threw it in the milk. He was like, no, just dunk it, like put it in. Like, don't worry about it, give me a spoon. I grabbed a spoon, I took the first one, I was like, what the hell? No freaking way. <laughs> it's like, you like them? I was like, bro, this is amazing, you know? So. So, you know, obviously I didn't have one, I had like 12 of them. And, and then I, uh, I, went back, I went back home and I was like, Mariah, why, why did you not tell me that you can throw the Oreos in the milk and eat them? The crib, what you say, the crib arena? <laughs> I oh, I didn't know what you said. My bad, they said the crib arena. <laughs> Hey man, let's <laughs> What do you think about that? What did the officials say that you were assessed a technical for? Who got a tech? You did, you did. I got a tech? Oh wow. Why'd I get a tech? I didn't know I had a tech. Maybe the escalate. Wow. Look, what's it been like for you to pick up uh, Frank's offensive system? So oh, it's far? fine. This is not the turnover stuff. It's on me. But good thing they don't count. <laughs> so, I turned that bitch over 15 times. I might even do nothing about it. <laughs> it's all good. It's on me, though. What you mean? I'm sorry. The, the ball tip out of your hand when you're trying to get to the basket on the last play? Or when you foul? When you... Did he took the ball out of your hand? No, you saw it. Don't ask me a question you know the answers to. You've well, seen it. I'm just trying to get the answer out of you, that's all. No, no. Just watch the game. you see seen what happened. Lost the ball. I missed the three. It's not nothing to it.